How did Vinicius Jr. transform himself into his awesome form today? Brother, don't play to him. On my mother's life, he is playing against us. It was just about a year ago when Benzema was caught on camera making this statement to Ferland Mendy about Vinicius Jr. in the tunnel at half-time during Real Madrid's Champions League group game against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Now, a year later, Vinicius has now formed a very potent partnership with Benzema and is now Madrid's second highest goal scorer so far this season, behind only, of course, Benzema. And he also currently sits at second on La Liga top scorers chart. Barring only Karim Benzema, Vinny Jr. has been Real Madrid's most dangerous attacker so far this season. He has been so lethal down the left wing that he is the sole reason Eden Hazard has not been seeing so much playing time this season. And perhaps also the reason Real Madrid are confident enough to make the superstar Belgian available on the transfer market. But he's not always been like this. Anyone who's been watching Vinny Jr. before now knows that his speed, trickery and ability with the ball have been undoubtable from time. The problem has always been with his final balls. His finishing or his ability to set up a player for a finish have been a big letdown. These were the main reasons many people called him a YouTube player. You know, great skills and a lot of showboating that are good enough for video compilations, but hardly any end result on the actual field of play. But it appears that over the past year, the Brazilian youngster trained a lot and improved on those areas where he was lacking. And now the boy is a different beast. A totally different player from who he was last season and the seasons before that. Now, take a look at this. In 121 games he played in all competitions between when he arrived at Madrid in 2018 and 2020, Vinny managed only 14 goals and 12 assists. However, in just 15 games so far this season, he has already scored 9 goals and provided 4 assists in all competitions. You really don't even have to look too deep to see how much the 21-year-old has improved this season. And yes, he is only 21, so you get that feeling that he's only just begun. If he continues on this path, he might just end up being one of the best players in the world. But what is this path, though? What did Vinny do over the past year that changed his game so much? During the lockdown, Vinny set up a gym in his house and was working on himself tirelessly. Like it wasn't enough that the Brazilian winger had set up a whole standard gym in his house, he also hired a personal fitness trainer. And not just any fitness trainer, he hired Tiago Lobo, who has a lot of experience working with athletes and footballers and getting them fit. Apart from working with Santos FC, Lobo has worked personally with other superstar footballers like Gabigol, Marquinhos and even Neymar Jr. Vinicius really wanted the best and he was ready to do anything to get it. That marked the beginning of Vinny's improvement journey. He was able to lose body fat while increasing his muscle mass and you know, this is the main aim of athletes who perform at the topmost level. The hope is that these new workout routines and fitness training will also help him avoid injuries. If you know Vinicius, you will know he's been a victim of some unfortunate injuries in the past. Of course, not every injury can be avoided, but you can tell the boy is trying his best. His training has not been limited to just the pitch and the gym. Vinny also started training a lot in the pool, which has been known to help with strength, balance and stamina. More so, it seems like the Brazilian winger was influenced heavily by his idol and former teammate Cristiano Ronaldo, as he also hired a personal chef and stuck to a very strict diet. And also, just like his idol, Vinny started to stay a little longer after club training to work on his biggest weakness, his finishing. He would practice shooting from close range, long range, mid range, from set pieces, all kinds of positions. He would practice all types of shots on his own and would still be seen practicing hours after group training had ended. In addition to that, Vinicius Jr. added something extra to his pre-game training. He would watch the games of his opponents and study how they play. That way, he discovers their strengths and their weaknesses and then knows what to do to punish them. He also learned to be more humble and professional. Although he is one of the most talented players in the Madrid squad, he is also one of the youngest and least experienced. So he learned to do less showboating and have more humility to learn from his more experienced colleagues. 
He has particularly got closer with Marcello and Casemiro. He has taken his more experienced compatriots as his older brothers. He listens to all their advice and they, in turn, act as guides to the youngster. And to be honest, all that lockdown dedication took quite some time to start showing results, but they did eventually. Even before this season started, he had those standout performances in big games last season that sort of heralded this season he's been having so far. He terrorised Barcelona in the Clasico in La Liga and almost single-handedly eliminated Liverpool from the Champions League last season with his brace at the Bernabeu. He came into the new season a different beast and he didn't want to waste any time to show the fans and the rest of the world how much he had improved. In September, only a month after football resumed for the new season, the 21-year-old was given the award for Real Madrid's Player of the Month of August. And since August, Vinny Jr. has still not slowed down. He's either scoring goals, assisting them directly, or somewhat creating them. Yeah, he still misses some chances every now and then, but what the hell, who doesn't? Point is, you will be absolutely dishonest if you say you haven't noticed that Vinicius Jr. has improved a lot this season. And with a new manager in Carlo Ancelotti, who is known to be a very attacking-minded manager with a wealth of experience, many more potentials in Vinny could be unlocked. Also, the new partnership that seems to be forming between him and Karim Benzema will help the Brazilian a lot. Benzema is prolific and largely experienced, and Vinny can benefit a lot from that while still learning from him. Now, we know it's still too early in the season to say Vinny has made a complete turnaround, but the lad has come a long way, and his work ethic, as well as his professionalism, have to be applauded. Now, there is one little thing which is casting small doubt on Vinny's future and success at Real Madrid the potential arrival of Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe, who's only a year and a half older than Vinicius Jr., has been Real Madrid's priority in the last two transfer windows, and it looks like it's only a matter of time before the French superstar moves to the Spanish capital, because even he is very keen on the move. While Hazard being close to leaving the club is good news for Vinny, Mbappe on his way in is surely not. Mbappe is already one of the best players in the world right now, and surely if he joins Madrid, he walks right into the starting 11. This either means that Vinny Jr. drops to the bench or is forced to play out of position. Surely that doesn't bode well for Vinny's future at the club, especially for a young player who's still trying to turn his career around. Anyway, all that is still in the future. Right now, can we just watch and enjoy the boy play? Vinicius Jr. is enjoying his football right now and we are enjoying watching him too. We hope he continues to improve on his game and perhaps even becomes one of the best players in the world in a couple of years. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our videos. Catch you in the next video. Bye.